Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. In this we will see what is collection framework in Java. This topic is very important from interview exam or learning perspective. Also for your day to day projects you need to use one or the other components of collection framework. So without any further delay let's start. So what is a collection framework? Java collection framework is an architecture for storing and manipulating a group of objects. It has multiple interfaces such as list, queue, etc. and their implementation classes such as array list, hash set, priority queues, etc. All the classes and interfaces for collection framework are present in java.util package. Now let's see what is the need of a separate collection framework. Before the collection framework was introduced, the standard methods for grouping Java objects were arrays, vectors or hash tables. All these had no common interface. Therefore, though the main aim for all the collection is same, the implementation of these collections were defined independently and had no correlation among themselves. And also it is very difficult for the programmers to remember all the different methods and their syntaxes in every different collection class. For example, let's see if we want to access elements of three different collections before the collection framework. So for array, we need to use array object and in the square brackets, we need to use the index. That is how directly we can access the elements of array. For vectors, if we want to access any element inside the vector, we need to use vector object dot element at and then we need to provide the index. And if we see in case of hash table, that is totally different from these two. So for that, we can use dot get method by passing the index value. So as you can see, all array vectors and hash tables, they have different implementations, even for a very simple operation, which is to access the element. So for that, uh, to solve that specific problem, collection framework was introduced. Now let's see what are the advantages of uh, collection framework. So first one is the consistent API. So as we have already seen in the previous slide, so there was a inconsistency among all those objects. The API has basic set of interfaces like uh, collection, set, list or map. So all these classes that implement the interfaces inside the collection framework, they have a common set of methods. So to, if we want to get some, met, uh, some value from a, uh, any collection, we can use dot get method as part of collection framework. Second one is speed and quality of code. So it has uh, increases the performance by providing the high performance implementation of uh, some useful data structures and algorithms. Because in this case, the programmer need not to think of the best implementation of a specific data structure. He can simply use the best implementation, which is already provided as part of collection framework. The third one is effort reduction. A programmer doesn't have to worry about the design of collection, but rather he can focus on its programming logic. Now let's see the hierarchy of all the interfaces and classes present in the collection framework. So uh, the utility package, which is java.util that contains all the classes and interfaces that are required for collection framework. The collection framework contains an interface named uh, iterable. So that interface provides the iterator to iterate through all the collections. And this interface is extended by the main collection interface, uh, which is further uh, extended by the other interfaces like list, queue or set. By doing this list, queue and set interfaces, they inherit the properties present in iterable as well as the collection framework. This interface have multiple implementations. Uh, one of the most widely used is array list, which you might already be using in one of your projects. So other than that, we have linked list, vectors and stack as for queues. We have priority queue as its implementation. And also we have a DQ interface, which is extending the queue and that DQ has an implementation of array DQ. In the end, we have set interface and that set interface has uh, different implementations and one interface which is extending that. So uh, the under the implementations, we have hash set and linked hash set. And for the sorted data, we have sorted set interface and that specific interface has an implementation of tree set. Although map interface does not extend the collection interface as it is not compatible with the coll collections. Because map is a data structure that supports key value pair mapping of the data. This interface doesn't support duplicate keys because the same key cannot have multiple mappings, but still it is considered as part of collections. This map interface is implemented by hash map, linked hash map and tree map. 
since all the subclasses implement the map we can instantiate a map object with any of these classes we will see all these interfaces from the collections and map as well and their implementations individually with the examples in our upcoming videos now let's see what all methods or operations are present in collection interface so this data i have taken directly from oracle's website the link will be uh, provided in the description you can also check out that specific website and see what all uh, methods are present and so the first and most basic operation is adding uh, any element to the list so for that collection interface is providing a method add and in that argument is the type of object that we want to store so it will return either true or false so if the operation is successful the element is added to the list then it will return true otherwise it will return false second method is add all so in this method we need to provide a list and a number of elements as a list so that what all elements are uh, provided those will be added to the specified list this will almost act as add method the third one is clear method so if we want to uh, remove all the elements present in our collection object we can use the clear method next is contains method so most of the time we will have a requirement if we want to search some specific element in the list so we can use contains method in that it will take the element that we want to search as an argument and it will look up in the uh, collection and it will return if that element exists then true otherwise it will returns false next is contains all so it is also similar to contains but instead of a single element it can accept multiple elements as a collection itself as an argument and it will see if that collection is actually a subset of the main collection in which we want to search next method is equals method so this method is uh, inherited from the object class itself so if we want to compare two different collections for equality we can use equals method next is hash code so same as equals uh, it is inherited from the uh, main object class so it will return the hash code integer value of the collection next method is is empty if we want to see whether the list has any element or not um, then we can make use of this method so if this returns true that means the list is empty otherwise the list contains some element next is iterator method so if we want to iterate through the specific list then we can make use of this iterator method and it will return an iterator which we can use to iterate through each and every element of that list next is parallel stream so it returns a possible parallel stream with that specific collection so it is a default method present in this interface so it will be used with the streams we will discuss regarding this when we will be covering our java 8 uh, features next is remove method so if we want to remove any element from the collection then we can make use of this method we just need to provide the object or the element that we want to remove as an argument next is remove all so similar to the remove uh, it will remove the elements from the collection but it can take um, collection as an uh, input argument itself so whatever components that we will pass as a collection all those will be removed from the main collection next is remove if so it's a default function it returns a uh, boolean so either true or false so it means like if we want to remove depending on some specific condition so if condition is true then we want to remove some elements so it will remove all those elements and return true next is retain all so in this case whatever collection is passed in our, as an argument all those elements will be retained and other than that if any other element is present those will be removed from the main collection if we want to see what is the size of the current uh, collection or the number of elements present in the collection we can make use of function size so it will give you integer value uh, with the size of the collection next is a split iterator so it creates a split iterator over the elements in the collection then we have default stream method so stream it returns a sequential stream with the collection as its source then we have two array methods so it returns an array containing all the elements in the collection that's it for this video please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any new video update so from our next videos we will start covering all the those specific implementations like array list list linked list
So if you have any specific queries or any specific topics that you want me to cover, please comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.